but just me and potato we have a union but i just can't be outside my body said no stay put <laughs>
already the evening time. And I also just sporadically in my head, I think like, wow, I really could just be doing something. But I just encourage people, just listen to your body because you do need the days where you need to rest full day. It does my body great because it allows me just to have more spurts of energy for longer duration so yeah I may feel like okay it was a great day outside or it was beautiful outside and so forth but at the end of the day my body said no stay put boring yep lazy yep but it's what it is listen to your body maybe tomorrow something more exciting may happen I'm in my self-care space and I just took these vitamins now mind you I said I wasn't gonna show it until the complete bottle was gone but this is what it looks like and I haven't had long eyelashes in years and it literally is growing my eyelashes out and my skin has just had a natural glow to it usually I have to add a little bit of oil every now and then so that's a big difference and I got this woman's multivitamin I just started this as you can see there's not there's only there's a there's still a lot in it so we'll see how that turns out but I figured I just share my hair routine I have narrowed it down a lot over the years I used to have to use several products every single time I've touched my head but now I've narrowed it down to three I could probably bump it back up to four just so I can have more moisture but I haven't had an issue as of lately and given that it is summertime and my hair hasn't frizzed out it's been a good thing for me so this is what it looks like straight out the shower after I put it up in a towel do my thing this is the curl pattern that I have I have no clue what type I am anymore because it has changed over the years a little bit in between you know um, but this is what I usually do given that some people say that oil traps everything and so forth it's more of a sealant however I do spray this first so that way I can go back in through with a brush evenly and then I've shown this product before this is the curl conditioning type of thing, leave-in conditioner, if you will. So that's all I use. And then sometimes to spruce things up and keep it neat, I do use some gel. Gels usually don't bother me with mixing and having a gray cast or anything or flakes, um, except for like if I build it up a lot, which I don't really like to do anymore. And I usually just put it into braids. Um, I'm not sure what I want to do today because I don't know if I'm going anywhere I have my inside dress on but I don't know if I want to step out or whatever um so yeah this is I guess my curly hair routine yeah let me show you
Concludes my two braided curly hair routine now given the sort of day that I'm having I usually just put like a hat on and call it a day or I take it out leave it out for a few days and then I go back wet my hair in the shower because that's the only way that I'm able to get the curls to revamp itself can't use a spray bottle, tried that, whatever, and it just doesn't work for me personally. So that's how I revamp every couple days. And I usually like to pull it up sometimes with a bigger scrunchie. Um, has like that tie drawstring that I guys that I showed you guys before. And that really comes in handy. Just curly hair is a lot. So but I'm trying to keep it out instead of doing the bun. I'm, I'm trying, y'all. Like, seriously. Because it's just so easy to wake up, do the bun, whatever, call it a day. And even now looking back at it, I used to say that straight hair was easier to maintain too. But no, not really because you needed to apply, for me at least, I needed to apply heat every single day. Not cute. Hope you enjoyed this quick little braid down, little zhuzh situation. Not sure what I'm going to do for the rest of my day. Maybe do some reading and so forth. But if something pops up, this has been a very introverted weekend for me. Because I feel like I need to be outside. But I just can't be outside. And by outside, I mean like doing things I need to do for my home. <laughs> I need to get a couple more decor pieces because my bedroom now is looking real bland and I don't like bland stuff. I just don't. I don't even like this mixed match towel that I have. But hey, it is what it is until I get a new towel set because it just throws this off to me. But... We're going to get completely aesthetically pleasing eventually, okay? So again, just keep in mind of these vitamins. They are doing your girl pretty good. So, yeah. I'm liking it. Alright, let me put the rest of my stuff away and I will see you a little bit later. Don't get me the lion. <clears throat> I said I was going to go, but I just wanted to share one more thing. So sometimes... I hope to do it like maybe once a week or whenever I feel like I need extra glow in my face. This is the oil that I've had for a while and I went to the Dollar Tree because I needed cash back for the License Bureau. Long story, that's handled. But anyway, I bought this roller. It's not real jade, of course, because it's from the dollar store. So I put it in the freezer and I leave it alone until... I want to use it but I have been using just a slight bit of oil for my face that's nice <laughs> always something when I'm trying to do this type of stuff right of course and I usually rub it in pretty nicely first 
and I need to get um, some caffeine under eye things because I'm sick of the perma bags. And that's just due to the fact that I had severe child eczema under my eyes, my face, like my whole body was really bad. So it just created a permanent, no matter how much sleep I get, no matter how, you know, how rested I am or how good I feel, it just doesn't work. So um, that's been permanent for a relatively long time. But I have been finding this helpful for my skin in general, for my face. So just, and I know people say that it's useful for inflammation and so forth. And that's good and all. I appreciate that. I don't know because I haven't been using it. You could tell it's from the Dollar Tree because it's, Can y'all hear that? <clears throat> Squeak it. Well, I usually just do this. I don't keep like a timer on how much time, but I think it has been helping like for a daily application. I could see results. Um, I'm not completely sold on this type of gimmick yet, but it is what it is. So I usually switch it because it gets pretty warm pretty quickly because my face is usually on the warmer side. So, and you know, a lot of people have methods on how to do this and so forth and how to, which direction to go and whatever. It's not that I'm not trying to pay attention to that because I'm sure it is useful, but it's just for me, it's the act of self-care for me. It's just the act that I'm doing it at all, you know, I'm trying to get some drainage out of there, you know. Smile line. And then I typically just do my neck too. Usually just do something like this. Cause to me it gives, you know, the drainage that's especially here. It's to me, I feel like it's been helping on a daily look type of feel. I'm gonna do here sometimes. And honestly, I think it really does the trick only, you know, again, Dollar Tree, it's just like, it does what it's supposed to do, you know, so. And then when I want to get right under my cheekbone, that's what I do. And the temple. It's just the fact of the rollout helps me, I think. Because usually when you use any type of roller, or wood thing applicant application you can see like where your acid built up is and recently it was like in my forehead so I was just like oh that's good to know you know and then I take these back out and I just remain chilling so that's it that is all <laughs> okay now i will see you in a little bit oh 
Ooh, I feel like I need some back here. Uh, ooh. Uh, but I already have enough there and here. So I'm just gonna leave this backdrop the way it is for now. But anyway, I made me a cold cut sandwich. Um, I have been alternating between roasted to what? I've been rotating <laughs> between rotisserie chicken and mustique turkey, and they're both very good. One thing about me, any cold cut sandwich, I need salt, pepper, lettuce, onion, mayo, mustard. That is the combo. Especially with turkey, if you don't know, put some Doritos on the sandwich. Call it what you want, it's delicious. So, again, a close up. And people be like, ugh, you like mayonnaise and do. And clearly, I love onions too. Mm-hmm. Ooh, crispy. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. If all I had left to eat This, this. I told y'all before, I have a severe chip problem. I could have saved up for my RV by now if I didn't have a chip problem, I promise you. And I can go typically months without it. But just me and potato. We have a union. And I can't shake it. I can't shake the potato. Cheers, by the way. I just decided I just can't deal with the outside world right now. already dealing with enough and have dealt with enough chill out you know so good but yeah this is it is. This was a just a random buy, but it's pinnacle vodka, cranberry juice, and lemon lime soda. It was like one third of each, so like the vodka, <laughs> cranberry soda. Not the glass was full, so calm down. And I've been sipping it for at least a couple hours now. So it's not like I'm like, oh, chug, 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 chug. Steady pace wins the race, okay? But. And probably some people too don't think to put salt and pepper on their cold cut sandwiches but to me it changes the game elevates it everything i got was from oldies i think i've said that before in little known fact because People like to really pay for name, the name brand stuff like the Whole Foods, the Trader Joe's, the Kroger's, HEB's. I get it. However, with Aldi's, fun fact, the person that owns Aldi's, right, 
is the relative brother to the person that owns Trader Joe's. So to me, Aldi's is just as bougie as Trader Joe's. And to me, the brands be hitting them. I've had snacks from there. Their bread is always good. Their produce seems to last a little bit longer. The only thing is you gotta pay attention to dates, of course. But if they're related, usually they're gonna use each other's connects. So whatever you're getting from Trader Joe's, more than likely you're getting from all these for a discount of the price. Just room for thought, because people like to just go with the trend and just pay more just to say that they shop at certain places. I don't care. As long as the stuff is fresh, I could tell when it's fresh. I could tell good produce. So, yeah. I'm going there. <laughs> for more bang for my buck. And don't get me wrong, yes, I have been a person that, you know, had a plethora of expendable income at a certain time. And I was just blind buying stuff and whatever may have. I've been there, done that. But it's all about being adaptable. You can still get great quality stuff at certain price points. You just got to know where to go. Can I show it? Because I'm demolishing the sandwich, you Like, do you hear the crunch of that onion? Hmm. Well, let me go finish this. Just wanted to hop on and talk to y'all for a second. Bam. Don't sleep on all these. Ain't I probably take her? You got a spot, no one can take it If you gotta fit together, we gon' face it I get my love and to make sure that you make it Ain't too much that I won't do Cause I know what 